Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Ryan Fitters. Welcome back to the Fittertainment channel. On today's video, we're going to be checking out the Big Battery Falcon. This is their 72 volt battery made for golf carts. Also made for the gym cars and some of the Polaris electric vehicles as well. I have not opened this box yet. Let's go ahead and open it up. Check it out. We also have another box here. This box is going to be the charger and some of the cabling, I believe. And we'll check out everything in this one as well. Back when I ordered my first big battery Husky, I asked them about a 72 volt system. At the time, they didn't know if it was a uh, high enough demand for it. I think over the past year, they've seen that. Uh, I got in touch with them last month and they said, hey, we got a 72 volt battery. Remember, if you order any battery from bigbattery.com, I have a 10% off coupon code where you can save 10% off your battery purchase or your parts purchase from bigbattery.com. So remember to do that as well. So now we got the mounting screws here. We have mounting adapters for the bottom of the battery. And we have our cabling here. Now this Anderson connector here, this is gonna be four gauge cabling. It looks roughly about three to four feet length. With every big battery purchase, they always ship their uh, batteries in a very secure box. And this just goes to prove, this is two or three inch thick foam and actually goes down as well. See the foam, how thick it is? And it actually fits around the battery here in the box. So they really take their time to even package this stuff well and ship it off to you guys. These batteries here are supposed to weigh around 60 pounds. Let's see if we can lift this thing up. So Big Battery makes a great product, but they also take pride in shipping their batteries as well. So they use this real thick foam. You know, they didn't just chimp out on the very bottom foam with one or two of these little small layers. They got one of these big, thick, like two and a half, three inch layers as well. So yep, yeah, this has some weight to it. Let's go ahead and get this uh, wrapping off of here and check the battery out. There's a barcode here, and um, it's gonna be coming off with this right here wrap as well. All right, so there it is. This is the battery, guys. It's got a strap on the front, a strap on the rear, like you can tell there. You have a voltage meter up front here, your power button, and a reset button right here as well. This right here is for a gauge that's on the dash. We'll talk about that in a little bit. And the Anderson connector plugs that really into here. So this battery is a Falcon 72 volts, 2.3 kilowatt hour battery. You have a nominal voltage of 72 volts. You have a max charge voltage of 85 volts, a voltage range between 68 and 85 volts. Now, so each one of these batteries are 30 amp hours a piece. You have two, you can have 60 amp hours. You have three, you can have 90, four, have 120 amp hour capacity on the battery. The max continuous discharge current is 80 amps. The max continuous power is around 6,800 watts. The max discharge peak current for six seconds is 180 amps. So if you have one battery, it's 180 amps, but since we have two here, and I would recommend at least two, two batteries, your max discharge peak is gonna be 360 amps for six seconds. So let's go ahead and measure this battery real quick. So we're looking around 14 and 1 8 inch long. We're looking at 10 and a half inches wide, around nine and a half, between nine and three quarter inches tall. So once you look at the bottom of the battery here, as you can tell, it's, it's in about three quarters of an inch, maybe, maybe five eighths and three quarters of an inch. Yep, about three quarters of an inch. So these batteries have two holes per side. Each side has two holes. Each battery comes with two of these mounting brackets here. So the mounting bracket with the four long openings, that's gonna be where you mount it to your application. These longer holes here is where you'll mount it to the battery. Now it comes with all the hardware to mount to the battery, and it comes with hardware to mount your battery to your application. When you order a set of batteries from Big Battery, they're gonna send you a small box. 
The small box is going to have your charger and your parts and pieces in there as well. Let's open this up and check out everything it came with. So when you get your box open and remove your foam, you're going to come across the first box here in this white box. Let's open it up. This is going to be your distribution block that they include. Copper terminals. You have your mounting hardware. You have a negative and positive with four different posts per side. Mounted on a heavy duty plastic block with six mounting screws to mount it down to your cart or your application. The next box we're running into, it's kind of heavy here. Let's pop it open and see. This is gonna be your golf cart charger here to charge your batteries. So this is an Eagle 48 volt. We made a video on this already here and I have four of these in my club car president. With this being said, this battery is about one half the size of the 72 volt Falcon in a size comparison here. I'm gonna go ahead and test this one right here out, see if it fits the club car president. We're gonna go ahead and remove the 48 volt Eagles for this test here. Let's see if these fit and get them charged up as well. So as y'all can see, the batteries are now fully charged. It's reading 89.2, 89.3 volts. The voltage will go down once the charger has been disconnected. So let's go ahead and do that now. So the batteries are now reading around 83-ish volts. Would y'all check out how great a fitment these batteries fit in the Club Car President? On the battery box, you have these plastic notches here. The battery is snug up against that notch. It's not wanting to go front and back. It's not wanting to go left and right either. These things actually look like they were made for the Club Car President. What's usually in this golf cart is the four big battery Eagle 48 volt modules. That's why you see some extra plugs here and extra wiring in the battery compartment. Now I didn't take out all of those wires to put these wires in. I'm not exactly sure if these 72 volt modules will live in this golf cart or another one that I have. So this is the power block here. I previously installed this on the golf cart when I put in the 448 volt Eagles from big battery. On your left terminal here, this is the golf cart ground. On this terminal here, that's the driver side negatives. On this one here, we have the passenger side negatives. The one in the middle has my charger and my DC to DC converter. Same goes on the right here, it's just the positive side. Move this out of the way. On the top ones right here, we have the driver side positive. On the bottom, we have the passenger side positives. On the right, we have the golf cart main positive. Right here in the middle, we have the DC to DC positive along with the charger connect positive as well. So this is what your distribution block will look like once it's fully installed. So I left it in the golf cart so we can actually hook up the two Falcon batteries. That looks pretty good. Now with the battery here, as you can tell, I have an external meter plugged into the pigtail. An external meter was not included with this battery here on the 72 volt system. The one that's previously on this golf cart was for the Eagle 48 volt. I'm not exactly sure if it's going to work correctly with the 72 volt system since this is much higher voltage than the 48 volts. I'm going to put the seat back on and take it for our test drive. So the golf cart drives just like it did before except now we have a lot more pep. All right guys, I wanna end it with this right here. If your golf cart is a 48 volt golf cart and you do not have a high performance system as far as a controller or a motor that will handle 72 volt, this system will not work for you. This golf cart has an aftermarket AC controller that'll handle up to 72 volts nominal power. So we were able to drop this into this golf cart here as well. Now, if you have a 72 volt factory option golf cart, this is a drop-in replacement for those carts. This is a drop-in replacement for the Polaris EV and a drop-in replacement for the gym cars as well. Now this is the first video of these batteries here. We have so much more planned for these batteries in the upcoming videos. We're gonna 
put some of these in some of my buddies golf carts and see exactly what kind of performance kicks they'll do so with all that being said guys be sure to drop a like on this video share it with a friend subscribe ring that bell notification it lets you know every time i upload a video as far as the golf cart is concerned and until next time guys we'll see y'all later